So I would like to ask you as the leaders of our church, um, as consistory, why do you think being open and affirming is important for our church? What I've come to learn about my spiritual journey is Christ's message is open to everyone. And it's all about love. It's not, not nothing divisive about it at all. It's, it's all inclusive. So uh, it makes sense to me and, you know, just. I think for me, like when I'm talking about our church, I talk about how we preach loving everybody and being Christ-like and being a disciple of Christ. And I think that this process is so important because it's time that we are practicing what we're preaching officially. I agree. I think it's time to make it official. The way we walk, the way we talk, everything needs to be more public. It's what we truly believe. It's the way we operate, or it should be. And I think we make it official, we put a big sign out there, and we invite people who feel like that would be a way to differentiate themselves, a way to express themselves, a way to worship, and find a refuge and sanctuary here in this congregation. Well, I'd like to remind people, it's just amazing to me, God made us in his image. An image is an image. It didn't mean exactly like them. God made some of us different colors. God made us with blue eyes and green eyes. Some made us thin, some made us fat. In his image. He also made the heaven and the earth. He made dawn, he made night. And in between there, there's different shades of grays. He made mountains. Some are just little hills. Some are barren, some have trees. God made the sea. Some of the seas became rivers and lakes. He put fish in there, all kinds of different fishes. So why would not God have made us all have different things about us? There are differences, and why can't we accept those differences? I think it's the right thing to do. I think as part of this church's belief system to be welcome. I believe that there is a need there. I believe it's gonna be a, this is a, the open and affirming, and the welcoming is a big part of the future of this church and the growth of this church. I was born and raised in the Catholic church, but my mother was from the Reformed church. And uh, as I have looked at some of the history, I, I very well acquaint many of this, many of this particular subject, and the same as the racial things in the 60s. I, I see many similarities, um, and the right thing is not always the easy thing, but I believe that there is a place, and we need to be that place. I honestly believe that. For the individual and for the church itself, we need to be that place. I really do. You know, we need to be that place where you can be here and not be judged. A lot of following Jesus is personal. We, we need to provide a space if you want to come and worship here. Whatever your need is, you can you can, you can be here and not be judged. And that's why it's right, the right thing to do. We raise our children to be open and affirming. They are already open and affirming. It is time. It's time. I like what you said, Tom, about the non-judgment piece. I know I judge myself for going to church sometimes because I have so many friends in the LGBTQ plus community avoid church and anything to do with it because they've been so rejected through the years by their family, by their church. And it's, it's hard for me to say I am of Christian faith because I associate that with the rejection that they've experienced so it's always been important to us as a family to be a part of a faith-based community that is open and affirming and that is open and affirming in a way that goes beyond the, the rainbow umbrella so to speak and um, includes all people. Um, Joe and I really like what you were saying about the diversity within Genesis and within the creation story and, 
and, and thinking about it like that. So I, A, it's time, B, it's a way to start the healing process for so many things that have happened. I think too, this is gonna create wellness and health, and spiritually healthy and mentally healthy, just being embraced for who you are and not having any fear. Um, right. We so desperately 